Good morning everyone, I'm Swee Money and welcome back to Airport CEO. Last time we fixed up most of the mistakes we made by opening our medium aircraft a little early and today we're going to get a little bit closer by setting up baggage handling for our passengers. Let's get started. As always, let's check out our research first. We're still working on structural engineering here. That's going to give us some concrete so we can start building runways and stands out of that, which should make the airlines a little happier. All right, so let's get going with baggage handling. First off, we do have one and a quarter million, so I'm going to say it's safe enough to unlock this area. I want to put our baggage handling stuff kind of over here, so I think that's the best thing to do. We'll start there, and we're going to go underground here. And let's go ahead and just build a little area, maybe that. That big we need and then we're gonna need this to be a secure zone i'll go ahead and throw a door in over here and we'll put a small door this is a employee only space and then we're gonna need the baggage bay now let's connect some roads over here and we need to get rid of this wall it looks like structural engineering is complete so let's go ahead and start up a new research we're gonna get uh, security for our baggage that's gonna be pretty important and remember to set your guys all right so we have most of this built let's go ahead and finish this off here that's gonna be the road that leads out of our baggage area there and we'll just let them build that that should be good let's make sure that this door yeah yep this is all in secure zone that's great that is all we needed all right next we are going to we're gonna want to go up here this is our normal check-in desks and you can see we have uh, some conveyor belts coming off the back so we're just gonna use those and i'm just gonna go straight out the back right over here and we just connect these guys like that and let's see where we meet up all right, it's not bad. Go ahead and get a conveyor down, and that should get us downstairs. And now all of these guys are nice and lined up. We'll just destroy that little piece right there. That's where a conveyor is going to leave and go over to here. You don't actually need to build a terminal, build conveyors, but they do need to leave the area. So then we'll just go straight across here and straight up here. We we'll just destroy that little door right there. The way these conveyors are built is a little bit wonky. That's why I'm waiting for this to get finished first so that I can put the curve right here. If you only build one piece, it's not going to necessarily be the exact direction that it's showing kind of have to drag it out so that is going to be our very basic baggage handling right here so our passenger baggage checks over here that they can just drop their bags off into that'll be right here we will need to improve this to add some uh, scanners and stuff like that but for right now i think it's going to be okay just to get it working and then just for peace of mind let's just enclose that then we can start connecting these so we want that now both of these check-in desks to be connected right there we don't necessarily have to turn them on just yet uh, but then we also want a check-in desk up here also be connected all right that's all of those so those guys are all assigned to that baggage bay baggage bay is kind of your central hub for everything so everything's got to connect to that we're also going to connect these stands but this is going to be kind of difficult because it does not let you do anything when handling a flight oh we got one we'll try to just remember to do these as we go as a, a plane leaves or so i think of our plane let's just take a look here everything looks pretty good no delays yet oh red does not look good uh oh everybody's boarded and ready to go but we're missing fuel so maybe we want to get some more fuel trucks here let's keep an eye on that all right so now the third thing that we are going to need here you can't really have a baggage system without a baggage claim area i know it's a little bit weird to have to go like all the way down here in order to get your bags but i'm okay with it <laughs> oh security did get finished okay I just noticed we had a couple extra things in here uh we will work on that at another time we just want to get this working so our passengers are a little bit happier all right we'll just come this way down the middle here and then we're going to want to make a little loop here we need an entry point first i do think for the sake of security do these guys have any sort of scanning capabilities are we checking bags at all here i don't think we are it probably doesn't matter super much i might want to open up just our medium terminals up here first to uh, use baggage and then if we don't have any issues we can open up these guys and see if this is all this is all in a non-secure area leading to a secure area so that's a little risky so we're gonna have to keep an eye i'm not sure how it works i think we can just go that there we go we got that nice little loop for our baggage return they can pick up their baggage here yeah we got another one really wish you could just connect this without the game complaining like okay so it won't take effect right now but can we just can we just get it connected first you can just use it whenever you need to but we just want to connect it Ooh, we might actually be able to get them all connected right now uh, two planes leave might be our last one ah 
<laughs> so close. Uh, but what do we got? We got all the rest of these. We're just waiting on this guy. Okay, that's fine. We're close. All right, next, let's just carve out a little piece of the fence right here. We're gonna need a way to get our baggage trucks up here. This road is gonna extend all the way back here for our medium stands as well. We can build that. I think I'm gonna go up and we'll just kind of take a look at where we need this. I wanna go around this. So we come out like right here or just above it. Yeah, right, right here. This is as high as I want it. So that looks like it's 32. We go page down and then you can just let go right there. And then we can come out this way. And I think we're gonna end right there, right? Actually, we can end right there. Oop, my bad. There we go. I need a tunnel going up and then from up here, just wanna finish out this guy right like that. That way the baggage cars can get over here. That's a little bit of a trip, but it'll be fine. And while we're kind of waiting for things to finish, let's go ahead and get some more belt loaders. Is that just gonna be faster for loading? I, I would assume so, right? Yeah, let's go ahead and since we're working on faster way to load medium aircraft, that seems pretty great. Oh, look what I just did. Got to assign my administrators again. All right, let's speed it up again. A service vehicle can't reach a job site. Well, that's because we haven't connected to the main road yet. Should be fine. Let's go ahead and connect to this road though. Of course, there's gonna be a stray cow that gets into our way while this is opened up. All right, service road is gonna come out this way. And I think we can just do a tunnel like straight up from there. How do we feel about that? I don't like it. About a tunnel from here. No, I don't love that either. All right, we're gonna keep it where it was. And we're gonna come down that way. That should make sure that we can get to all the small stands. Okie doke. What do we think? All right, let's go start turning some of these things on. We need to connect our return baggage up to the baggage bay. What do you think? First try, do you think we got it? Again, I'm going to leave these off for now. We're going to use just our medium check-in desks upstairs, and we're going to see if that is good enough. Make sure that it's kind of secure. We can set how many employees we have here, and we're going to set it a little high because I, I feel like we have enough passengers that we can probably use a little bit more than the default. Not basing that on anything, though. Additional staff to operate. Okay, so we are going to need... I just thought about... Our other income is not only... 13,000. Last time we changed this to salary costs instead of upkeep, and that is making us a lot less money. So we're gonna go back to upkeep. We're making like 22,000 with the upkeep. So we'll keep that. I think repair cost is, is fine too. So we need staff, we need applicants. Let's go to, I think we use ramp agents to work baggage. Kind of just preparing also for when we finally do open the uh, medium stands, the influx of people is gonna kind of trash the place. So. I'm just going to hire a handful more janitors just to get started. I honestly don't think we're going to have enough for a while. It's going to be a mess. That's why we still need to prepare for opening that. Okay, and then we have everything's on, right? I think everything's on. On. We have people stationed. So I think we're ready. Let's see if it works. Operations. Let's go baggage handling service enabled. And we just got to see if anybody's going to be using these stands over here for checking in. Oh, oh, oh there we go. I think that's our first baggage. At least it looked like he added baggage. Maybe not. I am going to actually deactivate these small ones for now. The, the other desks aren't getting assigned with lights. Terminal 2A is running late. Let's delay. Check on this. Delayed flight, but why? Everything's green on these. Why aren't we leaving? Is that because people can't check in? Because they're... Like, are we not using the medium check-ins at all? Oh, no, we are. Yeah, this should be fine. And we're using the package, too. Okay. I think we just ran into another problem that I'm not sure about. We have a bunch of flights that that are not getting taken care of. It might've just been from me closing these uh, these stands. Like maybe that caused some confusion for a second, but I don't know. Close that one. I just wanna make sure that we're solely on our mediums. See if that helps. Ah, there's our problem, baggage truck. We need four of them. <laughs> oh, we need some of them. Right now there's four backed up jobs. I completely forgot about a baggage truck. What I'm also gonna do is grab a new administrator. Nope, not a new administrator, a new executive. We're gonna grab the procurement director because they give me a discount on vehicles. So we should have done that earlier, but that's okay. And let's just grab, we'll grab two of the, you know, no, we'll grab three of the baggage trucks with the roof. We'll go ahead and grab those. And I think that should help us out here. That was definitely the problem. These little uh, indicators down here are very helpful like at a glance. Like we can see that we're kind of right on the edge of ramp agents right now. So we're probably gonna wanna get some more of those. We can do that. We are gonna need them once we get medium flights going. It's weird to see like nobody using this, but we got lots of baggage over here. I'm just gonna delay these flights. And now that we have our trucks here, we should be able to take care of this. And we have all of our people picking up their baggage down here. This is working out great. I mean, not great. We did forget about the, <laughs> the baggage car, but I think we'll be okay. Yeah, we're already, I think, getting a little bit better here. All right, we'll see if this just cleans itself up. How about this? Can I finally close you yet? Yes, I can. All right, so all those are closed. We should be using just these, which means everybody's got the option of checking their bag. Can we charge for that? 
<laughs> I feel like that has to be something we can charge for, right? Let's see here. Baggage handling. Just a pinch. Add a little bit more there. $15. $15 seems super cheap. Passengers at the airport. So everybody's like here on time. We're just waiting for this. Well, we got two. We got two that are waiting. I don't think we've done a lot of baggage handling yet, but we have not gotten a security warning about our baggage, which is really good. I was kind of worried about that. It looks like we lost these shops, but Bell Beer is still open. We met our sales yesterday, so good for Bell Beer. I say baggage success. We have baggage working. We might even be able to go down maybe like three just to kind of alleviate some of the stress on our, and we're already hitting red on our janitors occasionally. Not really a big fan of the fact that they can just walk wherever they want here. I wonder what happens if we put in some decoration in the in the middle how, how big is this ah there it is all right let's check this out this is this is what i was wondering so we can open up those other check-ins because it doesn't matter dangerous baggage is suspected to have been unloaded to flight cc 487 and a government security report is likely to soon follow we seem to have a security breach somewhere in our conveyor belt system which requires immediate investigation Oh, you know what else? Maybe we hold on. I'm I'm gonna try out one more thing before. I mean, this is all this is all a big security issue, right? I think anybody could just drop a package in the back of this conveyor belt. So if we have the actual check-in desk kind of walled off here, maybe that'll that'll seal up whatever gaps we had. Let's just wall in this whole check-in area, and we'll just see if that works. We still got a couple flights that are why are we why are we late on onboarding well probably because the uh, we still got another dangerous package here that could have been a package that was already on here and hadn't made it to the to the plane yet so i'm still gonna like let this go and see if it doesn't clear itself up we'll just we'll just try it out i want to see if this works then our flight monitor we're still we've got a couple of flights we're gonna keep an eye on that too but for now that'll do it for this episode we got a working baggage system even if it's a little insecure next time we secure the baggage area and take a few extra steps to prepare for the influx of extra passengers that will come with opening our medium flight i've been having a lot of fun with this game so i hope you are also enjoying the videos if you are please hit the like button it really does help me out if you liked a couple of my videos consider subscribing and ring that bell if you want to be the first to know when i upload new videos every week if you want to hang out with me live i stream every monday tuesday thursday and friday on twitch link down below if you want to follow me there thanks again for watching it really does mean a lot to me and as always please take it easy